Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107.9. Of course, it's me, the most energetic entertainer, Manny Supreme, in here with. And it's my Asia Simone. You know the vibes. And we got one of my good homies in the building. Big H dog checking in. Twenty one little hair of my dog. How you feeling, <laughs> man? Great, 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 great. Album on the way. On the thirteenth. Shining Jerry over there. It's good. Can we that's talk about I, this ice new, that's real quick? I see. New jewelry on the way. <laughs> Tell us it was new cars on the way. Party, man. Mo, new new houses on the way. Like yeah, how man. You feel, man. After the curse album done. Yeah. How long? How long you been working on it? Um, about six months. Mm. Sheesh. About these are new songs. Um. Yeah, these are new songs. Only one old. And there was ain't no nothing featuring. Wait, Tony. I want to take it back before we even get they into do, the music. So Metro Boomin sent you a beat. Right. Your brother told you to start rapping. Right. What made you take up that offer and say, you know what, I gotta do this. I gotta do it. I gotta make it happen. Shit. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you feel like something would have happened if you didn't? Like, if you would have just turned down the beat. Um. Yeah, because me is me. Mm-hmm. She, you know, I'm going to always do my thing. But by them, him, Metro, psh, <laughs> yeah. it's Metro beat. Right. right. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, mm-hmm. But, yeah, I, I still would have been, I would have been all right. I would have been doing good. For sure. Yeah. Now, you're from the east side. Yeah, for sure. I seen the documentary. I'm from, from, from Summer Hill. From Summer Hill. From Zone, Summer Hill. Z- Zone 3. I raised in the cater. <laughs> I seen the documentary. You was talking about Columbia Drive. Yeah. Where you, saw, you know, a lot of people, they try to throw up the six. They not really from there. Mm-hmm. I got I, we really ain't the six neither, though, bro. I'm going to be real. Yeah, not, not for real. But, but I'm from the cater. I'm from the time out there. I'm from the, I'm from the deck. We call our shit the deck. Okay. And we the mound. Yeah. Yeah, I'm from Stone Mountain. Yeah, but y'all the deck still, too. Yeah, yeah. still the deck. So, with that. What influences, you know, play with being, you know, from Atlanta, born and raised, doing the music, having family in the industry? Uh-huh. And, like, is it that extra push? Is it that, you know, still motivation to get it for your family? Because I watched your million dollars worth of game interview with you, Savage, and Nudie, uh-huh. and you were saying, you know, I, well, if y'all rapping, who going to be the shooter? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's just like, you really talented, <laughs> and you out here now, and you, you know, you're doing your thing. So, like, where does that motivation come from? Um... Listen to a whole bunch of old music, for one. Um, my my buddies, my buddies do motivate me to, to get better and do better with the music. The, the just the energy of my partners being around me, like that. Keep me going. Type I shit. want to give you your flowers because I think you have the voice. You know, like that's the number. That's like half yeah. the battle with being a rapper. But I mean, would you say that it's just like you know you've been going really, really hard? Like, what would you say is your biggest goal with it? Because you really taking off with it. You running with it. You you making it yours. You owning it. Um, I um, like I said, in, like in the other interview, like we need to get back to the that that soul music because it's like. Cause the the the, the, the journal we, we making now is like we send. Cause I don't want to be no hypocrite. Like yeah. I don't want to make it seem like it's something wrong with rapping away. Cause your art is your art. I don't mm-hmm. care mm-hmm. what you do, but it's like that old music that we was hearing back when we was kids. Like eight ball them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They were really rapping. It was they like was, real yeah, lyrics. Like, and it was, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it ain't even just about the real lyrics. It's just mm-hmm. the moments that, that what they were going through in life. Like. Yeah. It was killing going on back then, but it was like more like the storytelling. Yeah, the storytelling. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. we was chilling with grandma. My grandma whooped our ass by <laughs> yeah. taking home play. Yeah. 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 yeah, that type of music. Just yeah. the, the old ghetto shit. Like I wanted the, the ghetto shit. Like mm-hmm. I don't want to that killing you can feel shit. The music. Yeah, uh-huh. the killing shit is like I don't know. You know, man. I don't know. But I know. I, I know this is what I want. I want to get back to, and I, I want to do that. Yeah. I want to make the music like that, like some player gangster shit, like niggas can enjoy. Like you throw them headphones on, mm-hmm. and I'm like, damn, my grandma did do that. Or my mama did do that to mm-hmm. me. Or damn, my did go to yeah. school yeah. and do yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I want to get back to that. We s- we seen you working with uh we you did something with Lotto you did something with Herbo you did something with uh who else uh Savage nudie I mean we got nudie let's talk about these yeah features. yeah get uh, into the features what what first off <laughs> who challenged you who challenges you the most in the studio nudie why <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting that one because um nudie like. 
You don't even know a nigga like. Mm. Mm. And you're like, when's your first time meeting him? That's your cousin, right? Or yeah, is it yeah, it's your cousin? Yeah, okay. Yeah. When's yeah. your first time meeting him? Like, or like, Kids. I mean, not me yeah. and Nudie, but like, what's a what's one of your most favorable or favorable? What's one of your <laughs> most favorite memories with him in the studio? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's recent. He got a new song. I'm <laughs> 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 oh, gonna be the first one to announce it. Newly. Like he got a new song. It'd be like I don't. They, I don't. I forgot the, the title of the name, mm-hmm. but I know it's like it's a like a funny gangster song. Mm-hmm. They call it like boy. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like that Uzi, like Man, that, that. Yeah, it's better <laughs> shit, bro. If a nigga know Nudie, bro, Nudie is one of the funniest nigga, bro. Mm-hmm. But he had the whole studio in there to my boy, 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 boy. girls and all. That's crazy. Oh, and, nah. and we in there just it's a good vibe. We in the, if in niggas don't know that in the studio with Nudie is a good vibe. I personally got to experience you. On the stage, I was in the cut. I was on the stage in the corner, like by the DJ. Well, that booth. Look nervous. You, I, I, you want me to be honest? I mean, you knew, you right, but you didn't give off. You, you got out there and you did it. You asked Spellhouse Homecoming. That's why I had to bring that up because there was a big crowd. You yeah. know, like how was that that moment performing in front of it? Because I ain't gonna lie. The AUC ain't no joke. They, man, what? Especially, <laughs> they um, a tough crowd. Maybe they gonna let you know. <laughs> man, what? They gonna let you know. They didn't boo you, so that's a good sign. Yeah, but I heard somebody say they booed somebody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah they it wasn't you, though. You and me. It wasn't you. It wasn't you. It was you. But they is a tough crowd. But now, yeah. they're my first time performing at a college. But I enjoyed it, though. And I, I seen the love. I seen the love for certain, mm-hmm. you know. But I, I, was, I was nervous, for sure. Yeah. Nervous. But you, but you thugged it out like I you. It out. You I literally it out. were on the stage and you just made Holding the best of it, and that's how I knew I was like he on to something because yeah. I mean some people would fold and you know you really open up for Savage. Savage brought out Drake. It was like a whole moment. Like what was that experience like with work? Like even seeing Drake backstage before he even came out. Some some just always just some I'm always used to now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm always seeing Drizzy. <laughs> you know, we met him a long time ago, so mm-hmm. I'm used to that. He we, was playing your song and yeah, over and over. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I'm, it's something I'm always used to now. Most definitely. Yeah. Uh, but he, that nigga, he's a good nigga. Yeah. St- I like st- nigga. Style wise, you know, I mess with your manager, Mo. I don't ever catch a day <laughs> where y'all don't have it on. Last time I ran into you at Aura, you, I, you know, fits you stay it don't even look like your air force is creased y'all can't see his feet ladies and gentlemen but these are like they straight out the box <laughs> yeah foot locker what's the what's the average fit like on a regular day-to-day basis for 21 you going all your chains or are you just going to Sometimes ace dog wear all the chains all the time so how you feel like what what's a what's a studio fit like for 21 love for all your fans out there um i gotta shout out my dog um aoa Oh, she got some LA. comfortable ass sandals. Shout out they LA. got like the big f- fur, like the slippers. <laughs> yeah, long yeah. long Nike socks, sweatpants, mm. chill, tall tee, gas gas station white t shirt. Yeah, and a little hat, swag, key hats on the shit. Swag. What's your top three brands um, right now? Name brand, designer, no name, partner brand. I'm giving you two million right now. What you gonna go buy? Mm, I'm gonna go buy some. Slaughter Game merch. <laughs> okay. Ace Dollar Pair. Sure. Okay. Go <laughs> Good that. answer. Sure. Metro Boom. I'm going to get the Boomin' out of Got to. <laughs> um, and after that, Gallery. Mary. All right, um, now we at 1.5. <laughs> 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 right, right, right. Um, <laughs> I, want, I, I, I still ain't got it yet, but uh, whether you know it or not, I love Ed Hardy. Wow. Mm. That yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That's a throwback hey, right there. Yeah, that's what but it was. Yes. That's Jesus. definitely what it was. Yeah. Yeah. I, I see, I see a couple Hardy. people wearing it, but I ain't. But I don't, I'm trying to get some of that. You know, yeah. Hardy definitely used to have some That shit was hard. Pieces, especially yeah. wearing the boots with it. Woo! With the, um, with the, what that shit called? The little chain, the micro chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pocket rope shit, whatever that shit called. It's not a micro chain? Pocket chain, right? Oh, yeah. Like a. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. That shit used to be hard. Yeah. That and one of them little truck hats. Yeah. <laughs> one Bawa hat on with the Sierra shit. You yeah. remember that shit? Yeah. That type of shit. Not yeah. inspired. That shit was hard. Yeah. So what's the biggest thing do you want your fans to take away with your new album? Um, 
after the like, curse, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, after the curse. Learn from, learn something from it, because I was, uh, I was you, every person I've been in this, because we down there with every black mo- black young motherfuckers done mm-hmm. been in the same shoes, like no matter you from Atlanta or anywhere around this world, like might ain't got the same type of culture, but we all done been through some, like. And I know some of y'all niggas don't went to that curse that I was talking about. Like, mm-hmm. With the um having partners that have passed away, mm-hmm. partners that I got locked up and shit. And you, you might not know that you got a curse on you, but if you trying to break that curse, just do something positive, bro. And you could break that curse. That's deep. How would you say, I mean, I know and this is a little touchy, but you being shot by a police officer. You know, like, and, and is that correct? It was a police officer, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. how did that change your life? Like, the way that you think, the way that you move, the way you see, the way you see things. That bullet, f- that shit mature your ass. Yeah. Getting shot, mature your ass. That shit will turn you up. Because after I got shot, I went to jail. Then I did three years, and um, I just matured. Because I was yeah. childish as hell when I was, you know what I'm saying, when I was young. I know there's a lot of other young niggas out there just, um, bro, you can fix that shit while you 15, 16 years old. You can, you can get on grown people shit. Just mature, bro. Keep yourself, keep yourself safe. Yeah. But that shit, for sure, by me getting shot, mature my ass. Definitely. Because, bro, I was acting like a real asshole. Yeah. What advice could you give to somebody who is actually going through that, who has experienced it? Because, you know, I remember you said on the documentary, that was police brutality before it was even a wave. For sure. So, yeah. like, what what can you say about it now? Like, how it is? Um, just move right. I just move right. Mm-hmm. Just that them for away, bro. Just cause them them for ain't got no love for a nigga. Some police do, but some man, some folks. Ain't got no love for you, but they, they gonna for sure kill you. They'll kill you before a nigga in the street just out top. You beefing with that kill you for that for them folks to kill you. Like, yeah. just stay out them for way. Just the same way you'll stay out your art way. Mm-hmm. Stay out the police way. Stay out the police way. Most definitely. For before sure. we end, before we get up out of here, you know, Mo said you a ladies man. So for all, <laughs> your, all your fans out here, <laughs> what are the top three qualities for all the ladies out here that they should be working towards to get a shot at 21 Lawyer. What's your type? Top <laughs> three now. <laughs> um, You know how them girls got them little bow leg stands? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's one. That's one. Pigeon toe and bow leg. I got like pigeon toe. They got to okay. have both. They got to have both. <laughs> um, <laughs> I really don't. Now you got set up for that. <laughs> Cause, cause, um, <laughs> I, I never, I ain't never had no white girlfriend, but I don't think I, I don't think I can see me with a white girl. <laughs> not yet. I don't, not, I, yet. not yet. It's not level yet. two. Not no shade. It's no level shade. two. Not yet. Yeah, two. <laughs> no shade, but, um, short, for sure. Mm-hmm. That's two. Gangster. Gotta have some little. How gangster though? Not too gangster to a point that you think you can just beat me up and shoot me and okay, just kill okay, me okay, or something. Okay, okay, okay. Gangster uh, mean, down, gangster mean yeah. like you gonna protect us okay. energy mm-hmm. type. Okay. Like don't that was play, three, right? He yeah, gave us three. three. Don't play, three. With, my nigga. Don't play yeah. with my nigga. Don't play with my nigga type shit. Yeah. So out of all the things that you've been through in life, you know how like Savage got Lotto. Is it somebody in your corner that has oh, your back wait, the wait, same wait. way? What? What's up? What? What I do? I ain't agree to that. <laughs> <laughs> no shade. You don't think they cute together? They cute together, but. Them folk, they single, they, <laughs> they friends. <laughs> they friends. They friends? Yeah, they, they good friends. friends yeah, they good friends. They good friends. They okay. Good friends. <laughs> they good friends. But, I mean, is there somebody in your corner that can hold you down, da- or that is holding you down, or somebody that's been there for you? Um, I had one, but she was too toxic. Oh. Gotta let it go. Toxic man. Man. Hey, I'm right here with you. <laughs> let them go. Let them go. Not in the new year. For sure. Well, yeah. again, man, we're here. Another digital episode with the most energetic entertainer, Manny Supreme. My Asia Simone. And my dog, H Dog. For sure. 21.